Hola, buenas. Welcome to this week's episode where we are going to Alicante. But this isn't just any time away in Alicante. This is during the famous festival of Orgueras de San Juan or the bonfires of Saint John. This festival runs from the 20th to the 24th of June and is filled with so much busyness and interesting things to see. This festival has its roots in ancient pagan rituals, marking the summer solstice, which were later merged with Christian traditions to honor Saint John the Baptist. It was established in 1928, featuring the creation and burning of elaborate artistic floats known as orgueras, which symbolize purification and renewal. Honestly, Honestly, it's such a shame that these had to be burned. They are so beautiful. The amount of effort that must have gone into each individual float is astounding. It has evolved into a vibrant cultural event with parades, fireworks, and the famous crema, which is the burning of the floats. Our adventure today starts on the 20th of June. I had dropped off my stuff at the Airbnb and I was randomly walking around the city, checking things out and going on a mini adventure as I always do. I had flown to Alicante before, but I had never visited the city. So this was a really nice experience to get lost and see the city of Alicante for myself. This is such a beautiful city. Again, I wasn't sure what to expect coming here. I hadn't really done any research, very scenic. And as we all know by now, I absolutely love palm trees and there seems to be an abundance of them. <laughs> so that's nice. see the beach from here. I don't actually have my swimsuit on me and I'm on my own right now so I probably won't go in the sea. We're just entering the city once more, coming off of the, the coast or the beach, which is literally just behind me there. The designs are so creative and so interesting. Look at this one here. That's so cool. The amount of detail on them, absolutely amazing. Honestly, this is a bit reminiscent of Amalfi Coast almost. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, I'm a bit tired now. This is truly beautiful though. I'm glad I've gone on this adventure. Wow. I could live here. <laughs> I could. Yes. We found our tap. Oh, finally. You can hear there's fireworks going off right now. Somewhere. I presume it's fireworks. There's the sea all the way down there. That's where we just came from. Look at this little place up here with the balcony. That's amazing. It's such a beautiful place to live. Imagine that. You've got your little terrace and this is your view. This is your, well, I mean, obviously they're higher up so they'd have a better view than what I'm seeing. But this is the view. And you've got your little fountain here. I just downed a whole bottle of water <laughs> from here and I filled my bottle up again. So we are ready to continue our journey. But at least I know that this exists now. This is where I can get water if I'm in the city. In fact, you know what? There's more stairs here. Let's walk up there and see if we can get an even better view than what we've already got. Well, we're going to do the castle as well at the very top eventually. Okay, so the fireworks are still going off. No idea where. I feel like I've missed something. But um, I was going to say, these homes are absolutely beautiful, right? But Imagine moving in. <laughs> it's a 
the other side of there. my way back down yeah so i've continued walking down i actually had my breakfast here this morning and that's all i filmed on my first day a bit of a spontaneous investigation but first impressions were very positive for me into day two now and we woke up and went for some colombian food why not really sure it's just what we fancied at the time so that's what we had but it was lovely and i guess somewhat healthy i would recommend it a lovely soup agua panela and then i had chicharron for my main after a good meal it was time to start our day and the first location took us to plaza de toro which is where they have their bull ring as the name implies interesting fact bullfighting was banned in the community of valencia the location of alicante in 2022 but the bull ring are used for different events and activities such as concerts, sporting events, cultural festivals and other public gatherings. This is the equivalent of their Plaza de España. Hi. You will often hear children setting off French crackers in the street. They were super loud and seemed to go on forever. Look at those teeth, so cute. One phenomenon you will notice in Alicante during this time is the many, many street parties occurring known as casetas. The people will eat and drink all day until the night. And these private parties are usually set up by local neighborhood associations, clubs, or groups. And they often include music, food, and drinks. The casetas are located in different parts of the city and roads around them are closed off to facilitate the celebrations.
After all the walking, observing the marches, the floats, the hustle and bustle, we finished our day in a lovely Italian restaurant. It was incredible. But the night wasn't over yet and we decided to meet up with some friends and join them for a public caseta that we could enter. As I said, most of the casetas you can't enter, but there are some public ones too. We are now on day three. We're gonna go on an adventure and finally make our way to the castillo, the castle. So at 2 p.m. during the festival, they normally do fireworks in this square. So we're actually making our way there now because we've got about 20 minutes until they start. But that's why there's so many people walking this way. I cannot describe to you how hot it was in this crowd. With this many people, the heat and humidity was unbearable. And worst of all, we couldn't even see the fireworks from where we were standing. We could simply hear them. Interestingly, this was still really impressive because of the noise. <laughs> I was here yesterday, but it's so beautiful, I wanted to come back. So we're here again quickly before we go to the Bastille. Conveniently, this is the way we need to go to to get to the castle anyway. You can see the beach from here, look, just in the distance. Here we have a fig tree. Obviously the figs are very small, but I've been having figs in the morning here. I seem to, to have a lot of them here. I had a bit of a photo shoot by the Alicante sign.
turns out this place is actually free entry. So you go through the shop and buy something there, of course. But we are going to have a walk around this uh, beautiful castle now. I remember entering this room outside, it was brutally hot and inside here was absolutely divine. Honestly, taking myself back to that situation now, I felt like I could have had a nap then and there. So we're in a tunnel right now and here takes you down to the beach which we saw the other day and we are going this way again to go back into the castle to look around. We were just down here and up here there's a little bar slash restaurant and we're going to continue up this way. Mama. <laughs> Another bar just here, look. As we make our way up, if there's anyone wearing a pacemaker, be careful. We are still not at the highest point. The highest point's all the way up here. And if we look down here, you can see here's the beach. Coming up to this rooftop part now made my stomach feel nervous, not because of myself, but there were people sitting on the edges, putting their feet over the side. I personally just didn't feel comfortable being a part of their unaliving pact. Valencia region is mostly known for being quite flat, but Alicante is the southern part of this comunidad, which borders on Marcia, and therefore has a lot more of a hillier landscape. And here you can see I was simply just commanding the orders to these men as to whom they should be shooting next. Oh, Dom, you have so much to live for. He's thinking about it. Oh, okay, just gonna stay there. Fair enough. The game plan now is to walk to a restaurant that we think has fried fish. We have about 26 minutes to walk there. And then, in an hour, Portugal will play. We're gonna go and watch them play. Who are they playing? Uh, Turkey. Turkey. We're still heading our way down, but as you can see, this was the road we were on before when they were doing the fireworks. So right at the end there is actually that main little square. So I was saying we could have technically come up here and watched them from here. And it's a lot more quiet up here as well. But also notice there is barely anyone on this street now. So this was jam packed before and now there's no one. So we were just up here before. We've come down to get some fish and unfortunately, we cannot. They have stopped doing food and it is now five o'clock, which makes sense. So we're gonna search for somewhere else to have a very late lunch. The only place that was open for our very late lunch appeared to be a curry house, which worked out well for me. The smell was divine and I was hanging for a Ruby Murray. For those interested, I asked for a chicken sarg, which is my favorite. However, they never make it spicy enough. So I always ask for extra spice, a pilau rice on the side, and as usual, a paratha. But in this case, they actually didn't have paratha and the woman couldn't understand what I was saying. So I got a cheese naan instead. Proper traditional Spanish food. Mm. This ice cream was ridiculously popular. So we decided to queue up and try it. Okay, so to our right, we have cinnamon ice cream and to the left, 
we have Navidad India or Christmas India. <laughs> Basically, they both have cinnamon in, so I wanted to try both of them. Introduce exactly what you have. No. Why? <laughs> I don't remember. Here we have ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Turrone. This is salted caramel. Yeah. Moving on to our penultimate day now, we walked down to the beach. I decided to put the camera away while at the beach just so I could enjoy the atmosphere and just relax a little bit. And that place we tried to go to for lunch the other day, we managed to get a seat there and ate our seafood at last. Look at this beautiful meal. That evening, we wanted to go for one last wander, but this time to some locations we hadn't seen before. Okay, so we got the day wrong. We were heading out at quarter to midnight to see the burning of the floats. Turns out it was the totally wrong day. Actually, the burning of the floats was the day we would be leaving, which was really disappointing to find out when you're in Alicante. So I'm disappointed to say we actually missed out on the burning of the floats. It is now quarter to midnight, but we are heading out. And the reason is because they're going to be burning all of these lovely hogueras. Uh, yeah, they're going to be burning them. So we're going to go check them out while we're here. So unfortunately, we just did a little bit of research and we found out that they're doing the burning tomorrow. We're actually leaving tomorrow, so we won't be able to see them this evening. So tonight they're doing the bonfires at the beach for San Juan. That's quite far from where we are right now, so we won't be walking down there, but that's another thing to look forward to if you ever come to this festival. Rather than ending our night early, we've decided to walk a little bit further north or west, I have no idea. <laughs> but as you can see, we've got a tram behind us. So uh, yeah, wherever this is. <laughs> Look at that. The next day, we would be waking up to leave the Airbnb early, but we wouldn't have our flight back until the evening. So we had some hours to kill. So as you can see, we have our bags. We're gonna be in the city for the whole day. We're traveling back in the evening. So now we're trying to find out where to go. We have come down to the front again and the reason why is this is one of our favorite parts of the city of Alicante. It's not so busy right now because everyone is up at the top waiting for the fireworks that they normally do at 2 p.m. Of course we saw that the other day. Well, the name of this tree is Ficus macrophilia. Sounds like uh, some sort of condition, I don't know. It's cool looking though, look at it. We ended up in an illusions museum. As you can see, we are in the Museo de las Ilusiones. We saw it just around the corner. It's like three minutes from where we were sitting. That's why we decided to come here. It's 15 euros entry, so let's see what we can find. Yeah. Uh, a little bit, just to show. Okay. Hello. Okay, again. 
and we have been here and we've been here. Absolutely no colour in here, look. We we'll grab one of these. And you can see there's colour. How interesting. I want to know in the comments which one of these two is bigger. Okay, now that being said, we can see that we can move this up and down here. Now if we pick it up and put it on top, oh it's the same. We do this. Oh, now the white one's smaller, you see? But if we pick it up, oh, it's the same. <laughs> here we have a sheep. And here we have a wolf. That's cool. Isn't it? Basically, with my body where it is, we're gonna see my kind of shadow behind me. Also, are my teeth quite glowing? Yeah. Are they? <laughs> they are glowing completely. Yeah. Even your socks. Really? Yeah. I'll have to have a look this later. <laughs> so we'll stop it there. Oh my god, your neck! <laughs> oh wow, what the hell? Is that how long my neck is? No. Okay, this one's blowing my mind right now because as you can see there's nothing connected here. This water is there. What? That's, that's mental. How's it doing that? Yeah, this one blew my mind a little bit, but check this out. So it says Dobbix glass. If you pop this on top, you can see that the word Dobbix is the same, but glass is not. So then you think, okay, what happens if we do this one? Well, this is flipped, but this the same again so Dobbix seems to be the same no matter why because it can't be the color well it turns out that these are symmetrical whereas these letters are not that's why even though we had missed the grand finale and the crema we had an amazing time and for sure in the future, I will go back to Alicante and experience it. We are heading to the train station now. And then after that, I will be heading to the airport. So this is where I will be ending our video for today. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Let me know what you thought of Alicante. And whether you are now booking a trip to Alicante as we speak. Don't worry, I'll wait. You just made a great decision. You're going to absolutely love it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.